See, they leave when I come close because they're walking toward where I put the food. I'll be right there, I promise. Grace says, do you need more help coming, Mom? I'm right here. I'm right here. Hi, Slate. Hello. Be right out. So after quite a long time yesterday of trying to decide what I wanted to build next, I decided on the green grocer. Um, I'm going to build mine as the blue grocer because I already have a green building. Um, as you can see over here, it does have three sections just like my haunted house plus the little bit of a roof that sits on the top. So it's very similar in size. I was careful to do that. And then it's not immediately clear, but here on the bottom, this first floor is a walkthrough archway to the back side of the building, not solid. Um, you can see it a little better here. This is open area to walk through. Um, and it is built on a 32 by 32 piece, although the people they used one, they used two small pieces and I have one piece because at least Walmart sells those. And um, I'm going to need some bricks, but I went through this really carefully last night, and I know that I have a lot of bricks, too. So um, I'll be working on this for weeks. Here's where the street light goes on this one, the white street light. And the inside of the grocery store has this really intricate floor pattern, which I'm sure I'll do something similar. I will take liberty where it makes sense to do so. Now, this was a kit. Uh, originally I think from like 2008 or something but um I have a good number of the bricks that I'll be able to do so yeah <laughs> the cat is thinking about chewing on the cardboard and Don is over here with his coffee doing his morning floor sit with me yep. so got my coffee got my computer yeah it's no paper today Saturday no and no but Don's reading some some reading stuff online on, online yeah well, I do have more red than blue. However, I'm sure that's still not enough red to not have to order any. So I'm doing a little counting here. We might be doing the red grocer instead of the blue grocer. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. He brings my Ryobi battery vacuum cleaner stick vac out to the garage. And he really gets it clean for me because that thing sucks so good that it gets right it's a good little vacuum i just wish they would have designed this part better right so you could take it off to get in there you gotta gotta cut from yeah, the side just, with the scissors yeah, between you, my hair the right. carpet fibers and the cat hair it gets yeah, uh it that, needs regular maintenance yeah other than that that's the only really i mean it's got a little check valve that doesn't work particularly well to keep stuff from rolling back down um, you have to either carry it out holding it up like this because if you carry it out like that, when this thing gets really full, a little of the crap will come down and come out. And then, but if you remember just to, you know, before you turn it off, just kind of turn it Well, and let's be clear, the stuff it doesn't hold is the cat litter. The right. little gravelly cat litter, heavy stuff, not like hair fibers or dust right. or that kind of thing. It's really, the, it's really, I'm sucking up large chunks of cardboard and cat litter with it. Um, after Don cleans it, it is the best suctioning vacuum I have ever operated. So, but it does take a little in between. We yeah. are doing a little maintenance. Well, if you're going to buy it and then yeah. use it and never want to do any maintenance on it, it probably won't work very well for you. But with right. Don taking it out a couple times a month and spending 10 minutes on it, less, yeah. yeah, it really sucks up good for me and I'm totally happy with it. So, yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's really, I mean, she just buzzes all over the house with this thing. <laughs> And Don blew the water off of the uh, right. the boardwalk, the catwalk, the boardwalk, and uh, yeah. my cushions that I'm determined not to put back inside. Um, we're well, getting more rain though, probably tomorrow. I mean, right. into tonight, it's not really drying up now per se. Yeah, so, right. it's not really drying up. well, I'm gonna run into Guardian Angel to look for you know what, just in case there's Legos. Right. It's near closing time. It's uh, about 4.10 now. They close at 5.30, so it shouldn't be super crowded near closing time. I have at least an hour's worth of cleanup or more to do in the garage. Yeah, we got to get all the tools away and everything cleans before JB comes so we can do more stuff. Now I got to put up all my painting equipment. I mean, I drove all my painting crap out. Now I got to put all that back up. 
Yep, I'm sorry. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, Ruby's got a software update. I'll have to install that when I get home. Um, oh. I think it's just 2020.40.4 oh. because Tesla 5 said there's a new level detected in the fleet and it was just like a dot release. So I'm not expecting. Well, yeah, it says 40. Dot, in, in the small print, it says 40.4 there. So I'm going to put it on Jules. I don't know if Jules has it, but you're welcome to go look. I don't have my phone with these in, in China. Okay. Bye. We have a kind of clearing sky pattern. Partially clearing. I don't know. Um, the road out here is not wet. So maybe Ruby won't get too messy. I wasn't as careful as I might could have been coming down the driveway. Because I sort of assumed that the road out here was going to be wet too. But um, it's not. I'm feeling bold today. This release says it takes 25 minutes. Let's just go ahead and do it. Actually, it says it was going to do it at 4.30 and I meant to say install now. Sentry mode has to be set to off. Alright, alright. Actually, can't you just do that there? Not schedule. Install now. Alright, it's going to go. Two minutes. Good. Well, they are looking pretty busy, unfortunately. I really thought people usually clear out in the last hour. Lego bricks! A couple things for Michelle and a cute black cat bucket for me. There are a lot of new cups out today, including this really nice piece of milk glass. I've added a coat for Johnny, a gazebo birdhouse, a storage container, a really pretty shirt. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Donnie. It wasn't bad at all in there today. Everybody was uh, getting in the checkout and leaving as I was coming in. I mean, I had an hour, but uh, still, it, it wasn't too bad in there today. I already loaded up my stuff in Ruby. This is my second walk out here. I, I took the cart back. I didn't have Michelle today. <laughs> All right, it did go on. Cool. Don't do this while you're on vacation traveling. This is just because, you know, Dawn's just uh, five minutes away if I have any problems. This time of year, getting in the car and spraying with alcohol, you know, hand sanitizer, basically straight alcohol, <laughs> is no big deal. But I don't think I'll be doing that in December or January when my skin is dry because I have trouble with my skin not bleeding in the wintertime. My hands from like washing stuff and getting them wet. And I don't, I can tolerate some alcohol on them this time of year, but I don't think I can tolerate alcohol on them. Uh, in the middle of the winter, so we'll see. Wow, two blue Model 3s out here. One back there and one over here. Way cool. Looks like they're both at the coffee shop, if I had to say. Either that or Vicious Fishes. I think Don put my other ghost on a timer. I see that too. Oh, and you made a stand for my other floodlight for now and for Christmas. We'll be able to swap them, won't we? Wow. I'm look a good at you. Boy. You are. Thank you, Donnie. Yes, you're <laughs> welcome. I'm hungry too. I'm sure you are. It's going on six o'clock. Well, you knew if they closed at 5 30, I'd be home by six after I, Pokemon. I literally just came out to put my plug that thing in. I just finished programming it. Uh huh. And put my two saw horses up. But uh, basically, I literally just finished. Way cool glad you're home. You miss me? Yeah. You miss me while you were cleaning? Oh, uh, I just miss my sweet. Okay. Well, there really wasn't a lot I could do to help with what was uh, in there or I would I have did, been helping. I did this. I did that. I fixed the unicycle pad. I put air in the unicycle tire. So I've got a nice little pad now to put in jewels whenever I carry my unicycle. It won't fly all around. So 
cool so this is what we were talking about this floodlight puts that um pumpkin jack-o-lantern face on the door and uh it's meant to go in the ground but since we got asphalt that won't work and we needed a way to move it out of the way during the day and back in front of the door at night so um i think that's an excellent job there thank you again excellent <laughs> guys do good things for you when you uh when you give them the appropriate feedback. Did Jules have the software update? No. I put it on at Guardian Angel just so uh -huh. I would get home and you wouldn't be able to uh -huh. say that Jules had it and Ruby didn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said don't do this when you're away from home on vacation, but Don's five minutes away at the house. Yeah. And that wouldn't be the worst place yeah. to leave her parked if I had to. So I wouldn't do that on vacation or traveling yeah. out of town, though, just to say. But I figured it said 25 minutes, so I knew I'd be a oh, guardian yeah, angel longer than that. Safe bet. Safe bet. Way cool. For you. For me. Yeah, straight from eBay. Feels like a t-shirt. I <laughs> know. I've never given you a t-shirt before. Never. <laughs> oh, a black t-shirt. Well, you like the gray one so much. That's right, I do like the gray one a lot. Oh, wow, long sleeve. Now you have two long sleeve Tesla shirts. You got a T on the back too, yep. under the collar? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks kind of official. Yeah, it is. I think um, if you um, look at the tag, that's how you can tell. Yeah. It says Tesla on the inside and it's printed and everything. Wow. So it's not just somebody stuck Tesla on some shirt, it's a real one. Thank you, sweetie. The black Lego panels I ordered came that fancy slope piece. I'll uh, probably replace it tomorrow. That's going to require really good mental concentration to pull off the roof panel and put it on there without it all falling into 30 pieces. After uh, I get dinner finished started, I'll dump this and look. But I knew on top that there was this Batman... Um, some sort of boat speeder or something it even has the minifigure um i don't right off hand see the other wing but it's probably down in there and if not you know what i happen to have an extra wing piece hi night time you've been helping mama with her legos today hi sweet girl so i did decide to go red instead of blue um don says think of it as my christmas house <laughs> And um, I've pulled out a lot of parts that are needed. And I've ordered a bunch of parts that are needed. So um, I don't know that I'll be getting started before parts arrive. Uh, one of the people is my guy in Virginia that I've ordered from several times. So his stuff comes pretty quick. I expected to go out in the mail Monday and I'll get it Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but, you know, with every great project, instead of starting with doing, you got to start with planning. That's what I tell the kids all the time. You got to do some planning. Planning is what I did today. And uh, it was a lot of effort, but I think it'll make the house go more smoothly.